get, eh? Since purchasing a couple of marketplace bargains, me and the boys from Shockworks have built them to a stage where they should be pretty driftable. So at last, let's put these cars and us drivers to the test. Now, I've given you a sniff of what's to come. Let's take it back to the beginning and gauge the drift progression from there onwards. Holy fuck, you've ever seen a car do this? That's pretty impressive. Amongst this road, there is not too much room for error. The first corner is a downhill entry with an edge I do not really want to fucking go off. After the first downhill corner, it leads down to a tight left hand turn with barricades, switching to a long right double apexer, and lastly to a barricaded medium left hand turn. We're also going to attempt the layout in reverse. We've got a whole two days of this, so without further ado, let the survival begin. Now, as you've just seen, we have arrived after a six hour drive to the beach. This will be my third ever drift event. So I'm still relatively quite new to the scene. So this will be a big test for me. And of course, this will also be the first time drifting the freshly built 350Z. How easy to begin with. Yeah, right. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Waiting for connection. Waiting for connection. Yeah. Yeah. So just going to ease into it to begin with and get a feel for it. First things I noticed with the road was one, it's a bit moist, a little bit slippery. Uh, the rocks are loose as, as you can hear 
rattling around, smacking around. Um, and the, the layout is really short, so before you know it, you're done. Okay, that's nice. That's doable. Yeah. It goes all right. I've got no handbrakes. I'm busting. <laughs> Now to check it in reverse, uphill. Once again, it's very quick and very slippery, but the sun was starting to come through to help draw it up, which would be helpful because right now it's a whole lot of wheel spin and you probably want a little bit more grip so we can maintain the momentum through the corners. This drives so good. Way better than the 31, that airline. Find a handbrake, game over. Game over. Game over. It's good. fun, isn't it? It's good. It's, it totally takes a bit of the pressure off by being loose. You don't yeah. have to be like absolutely pinned. Yeah, exactly. Didn't scare you? No, no. not really. It fucking drives Drives good, yeah? It's good power. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now the goal is to connect the entire layout in a single drift. So I've got to just keep amping it up each time. Yeah, it goes from pretty good to pretty shit pretty quick. Yeah, it does, yeah. Fuck, a handbrake would be nice. Get 
you want to pull the center console up and we'll see if we can put some nuts or something under it and just pull the cable longer so i really want a handbrake because i feel like it's going to be able to give me that confidence going into a corner with speed having the option to just rip the handbrake whip out the rear end and drift around the corner instead of just understeering into a barricade or something so yeah the handbrake's got no tension at all on the cable so we're just going to shove stuff in there how's that eh spreader plates eh spread this mate spread this side all right we're good again we went to the pits it was the lunch break i personally had two sandwiches two fucking sandwich plates hopefully this fixes my handbrake otherwise look i was feeling good out there so far i could feel the progression was coming along but geez you know there's a big road ahead of me i'm missing a lot of steeds in these skids what's going on what's getting into me by the end of the weekend i need some steeds <laughs>
Still with no working handbrake, I'm slowly getting closer to connecting the layout in one go. Plus, my diff ratio doesn't seem to like third gear on this layout. So at this point, I'm just trying to get full lock. Besides, um, you know, spinning out 10 times, each spin out, I was learning the limit bit by bit. At least I was getting some decent angle, trying to find the sweet spot. Overall, it was a successful day one. However, I wasn't quite satisfied with my progress at this point. I haven't yet connected the track either way. On the plus side, I have not binned it just yet, so I'm pretty happy about that. And with the handbrake, look mate, I don't know what's going on here, but it's just not doing the job. Hopefully tomorrow, 
we can get the handbrake sorted so it kind of locks up at least just enough to lock the rear wheels up to help extend my drift into corners. Anyways, to finish the night off, we packed up, went out for some steaks with the boys and headed back to the Airbnb where we were staying for the weekend. Tomorrow is a new day.
At this point, I was getting pretty jaded. up. It started to click with me. Even though the handbrake would only lock up the rear wheels when I'm already sideways, it was enough to make the difference and help me connect the layer. Although, I've only connected the uphill layer. I'm yet to nail the downhill. Those first two bends on the downhill were a bit scary because you've got to proper give it the berries with some speed behind you to connect it. And when you're going downhill, you got a whole lot of momentum behind you. Before I got back out there, thanks to Slicker Spares, who were there on the day, I picked up a quick release short hub for my steering wheel. Don't know if you noticed throughout this video, but I'd sometimes fucking hit the lever on my windscreen wipers because the steering wheel was too close to it. So with this short hub, it'll be nice. It'll be spaced a little bit more towards me and a bit more away from the levers. It'll just push off one way. Bingo. Yeah. So much more room here, what the hell? Alrighty, I've had my quick break. Now, it was time for the last session of the weekend. I'm still yet to nail the downhill, so I better sort me shit out. This has nowhere near the power my car has. Like this is remarkable. You coming out of it, it's like Aah. Yeah, these tires are way more grippy. Yeah? Fuck see, I should have done a cheeky tandem with you can. Damn it.
Front and back six color design, meticulously screen printed by Born and Thread on quality AS color clothing. Pure quality. I'd just like to make a quick thank you to all the Shockworks boys, Chris, Tim, Jimmy, and Jeff, for helping build the 350Z. Love you, boys. Except Jimmy. Fuck you, Jimmy. To my boy Eden and Tim for dodging projectile road pebbles while filming on both days. To Antic Ways for organising such a sick event on a beach road. To the sponsors, Shockworks, Born and Thread, and GK Tech for the support. And of course, you big boys for either watching, repping the merch, or being one of the Patreon boys. It's always good to meet you fellas at the track and have a chat. Anyways, that's all I'd like to say. Cheers for helping bring these videos to life. All the best for 2024. Let's all get some fucking shit done while we can.